video and I want to show you how I do my eyebrows. I've been getting compliments by my friends asking me how do I do my eyebrows, where do I get my eyebrows done. Well, I it's been a while since I got my eyebrows done. Normally, I used to go like after in a month, I would go once in a month to just get them refreshed by a professional. That's is, that is in town. Um, Diamond, what is Diamond Plaza? Is it Diamond Plaza? Yeah, in town. There's a guy called Nesh. Nesh, yeah, he's really good and he's very famous for that. So it's just a hundred bob, so not much. And he's really good at it. So it's been a while since I've gone there, and it's because of school, work, and so much going on. So I have not been there for quite a while. But, um, this is what I do. Um, I just, a friend of mine from school just asked me to recommend her where I go to do my eyebrows. And I just figured it, it would be nice if I just showed you guys how I do it. I'm not a professional in makeup or anything, but this is why I want to, this is why I'm, I want to do this video. You don't have to be a professional to do it it's very simple and you just need practice i did it you can do it so what i what i have um i bought this it's gel this is not my original this is my sister's i i use i'm using it because it has its brush i i use this i bought it like two years ago and it's almost done I love the brush, but it got lost. I don't know where it went. Maybe it's around the house or in my bedroom. I don't know. But it got lost, and so I have to use hers. But I don't like hers because the bristles, the, the brushes, the bristles are coming out. Some of them are missing, if you can see. So, yeah. Um. Also, I can't remember exactly the price, but I bought it cheaply. I bought it around 250 but right now... I see all over the internet they're selling it at 400 I don't know they're just exaggerating the price but yeah and also I use this this is um just the normal foundation it's it's um I think it's my shade so you can use you can use your shade because it's a bit lighter very slightly lighter or almost just skin color um I don't use they call it a highlighter or a concealer. You can also use a concealer. So I don't need that. I just use this. It worked for me. So yeah, I don't I don't really need that. I'm not a professional at that. I need my eyebrows to get done. So I'm going to use what is available. So yes. So what I do first is my face is clean. So I don't even brush it. You see like it's like this. It's very simple. So you just... You just um just make sure the teeth. So what I do is start from from down and I draw a line. Yep, like that. And then I do the same if I do the same on top. Just draw a line. So after that, I just shade it, just to even it out. I'm going to do the next one. The problem usually is sometimes you can do this and you find that it's not symmetrical but when I do this it's very hard to do to get it's very hard to get to get it wrong because you're doing the exact same thing you're using the exact same thing so yeah then I can shoot it just to even it out Oh, 
I'm gonna rub it later. Um, I haven't showered yet, and I'm not going anywhere. I just, I just wanted to show you guys how I do my eyebrows. So yeah, I shed it from there. Um. So now, as you can see, it looks. I I don't like this. This is too black. It's so not natural. And also, as you can see, it, it like it's not symmetrical. So this is where this come into place. It's all about effects. I'm not a I'm not a pro, pro for that, but this is how I line it. You can make mistakes. You can rub it. It's okay. You're right. You you allowed. You can do it. So you do it the same way you did it. And what this does, it makes it look perfect and natural at the same time. So, um, I don't think if it's quite visible. So, yeah. This will also, um, I can't not stay without my glasses. Sorry, guys, because I can't see. So, I'm blind. I'm blind. 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 So. So what you do is just you you have to blend it with your skin so that it doesn't look like oh she just applied something on top of that. Like you can see here, it hides the crooked. It makes it look very, 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 very it gets it gets a finished look out of it. So so yeah. At this point this is where you also make sure like if you feel like one side is further than the other one, you can, you can put it on top of it. Like this one is a bit higher than this one. So you can always do that. And the good of that thing about this thing, it stays for a long time. For a long time. You have to like blend it and make sure it doesn't. Uh, also, here is very important. Sometimes I get my sister hates it when it's almost close to each other. She says, "Oh yeah, I always look like the touching. They look so abnormal." And, you know. And I thought, yeah, maybe she's right. I don't want to look like a witch. So, I still feel like they're not on the same level. So, yeah. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm kind of used to it and I can also always change that. So, And the good thing about this, if you don't like it, you can just rub it and start over again. Unless maybe you're busy or maybe you're in a rush. But when you get used to it, it just gets you like a few seconds and you're done and you're off. I didn't want to use my wipes. This is my wipes. So, yeah. And there you have it, guys. That's how I do my eyebrows. They are not that perfect, but that's basically it. There's always room for improvement. And sometimes I wake up and it doesn't come out as nice as I wanted to. Sometimes it comes out really good. And it's okay because you're in the learning process. You get to learn some of this stuff. And it's fun. It should be fun. So yeah, guys, that's how I do my eyebrows. Um, I hope you guys liked it and you found it very helpful. See you later. Bye-bye.